Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today, we've got just a quick little uh, tip slash guide video for you. This one is going to be focused on the most efficient way to get any of these uh, boon coin tasks done. So if you don't know about these, for some reason, these just require you to pick up one of the coin boons that sometimes appear along the way in a mercenary's map that buff a specific subset of units, being fighters, casters, or protectors. In this case, I need to do it for Murky. I've already gotten two, but I need to get two more. And this is something you can do just naturally through gameplay. If you're playing PvE, just keep an eye out for it. However, if you are trying to progress through your tasks quickly, like I am with Murky right now, and you don't want to rely as much on RNG, there is a more effective way to go about accomplishing this, which I'm going to go over now. So the way to do this, and you do not need the Merc in the party, by the way, so you can do this without having them in your party. As long as you grab the node, it'll be okay. We're going to be going into Heroic Barons here. And then we're going to be going into Air Elemental. I'm sure some of our Mercenaries OGs remember this one well from early on when we were doing farming. And I just have a little random comp I was using to farm some task stuff with. But the nice thing about this one is that if you're going in on Heroic, uh, you're always guaranteed to have a, uh, a boon. So here we can see that... I have the Boon Fighter, which is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go through this one, and usually it's only one or two nodes at max, and then you can go and grab it. However, sometimes it won't be the Boon you want, right? There's, uh, I'm pretty sure, an equal chance it rolls any of the options. So it's not going to be rolling Boon Fighter every time. That's okay, though, because you can just basically insta-concede your run, restart it, see if it's there, if not, just re-roll, and you should be able to get it all nice and done very quickly using this method. So we're just going to quickly go through these fights here, grab it, and then call it a wrap on this one. A little bit of a shorter tip video, but I did want to get this out there in case we have any new players who are wanting to accomplish this task and might not know the best and most efficient method of doing so. Uh, let's fight number one down. Easy. And then we only have one more. We'll just pick whatever. Then we'll get our boon, and then we'll be just about done with our uh, murky task. But yeah, this is a great way, especially now that the tasks have been changed. It's a little bit easier to line up your tasks. So you'll be doing tasks usually for the same characters at the same time or the, the same uh, kind of goals at the same time, usually. And it's efficient that way because then you don't have to do stuff as much like if you have four characters that all have a task that says, hey, go do these bounties or go complete four bounties or six bounties or whatever it is, you can get them all at once and only have to do six rather than doing them individually as they come and having to do way, way more than six, right? So... This also helps out with that, because if you do line up more of your uh, tasks that way, then odds are you'll have multiple of these uh, boon tasks at the same time. So that way, if you don't need a uh, fighter one, or if you don't need one of the other ones, maybe you have like two of the different groups, or even all three of them, and then you're never getting a bad map, or you're never having to reset. But resetting isn't even a big deal. Like, it literally takes no time. Like, we'll do it right here. Just view party. Click retire. Yep. It gives me some coins. However, if you retire before starting the run, uh, you will not get any coins. We're just going to load it back up and see. Did I get what I need? Yes, I did. I got lucky. So, I'll go up and finish that. But I will do that off screen because that is all there is to this guide. It's super simple, but I did want to get it out, out there. Just in case we have any new players who are looking for a more efficient way to accomplish this rather than passively through gameplay. But that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, 
Do remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.